Welcome to Moonbeam Mysteries. Welcome to sleep here with us. I am your friend, Moon Fairy Eva. On this lovely night, please relax. Lie down on your soft bed and close your eyes. Tonight, our story is about the Donut Prince, a cute prince from a faraway galaxy. I hope this dreamy story brings you joy and helps you sleep well. The Amsterdam port at night is not very quiet. As a port city, it is always bustling. The city has many canals, and people have built all sorts of beautiful bridges over them. Our donut prince is sitting in a tree by the port, where the docks start bustling at four in the morning. He looks like a handsome little boy, with silver hair shining softly in the moonlight. He wears a vintage white robe, leaning against the tree trunk, sitting still on a thick branch, looking like a painting by an artist. A Siamese cat with beautiful blue eyes climbs up the tree to the prince. The donut prince sees the cat and gently pets its head. The cat looks at the prince and says, Prince, where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm just waiting here. In a few days, the sun, moon and earth will align and then I can see my father's planet. Are you leaving me? Kitty, thank you for your company. I'm not leaving. I'm going home. The cat purrs and rubs against the prince. Many years ago, the donut prince arrived in a country. At that time, the country was having a grand parade, with flowers surrounding the parade floats, and people cheering and dancing along the sides. A grandly decorated elephant carried a howdah adorned with flowers and veils. Inside, on a gold silk cushion, sat the princess of the country. She wore a crimson dress, looking noble and beautiful. This Siamese cat was her pet. The donut prince was fascinated by the parade. The cat lying at the princess's feet looked down and saw the donut prince. The cat knew this was someone special. It jumped off the elephant, ran to the prince, rubbed against his boots, and showed its belly for a pat. The princess saw the prince too, and felt both a strange familiarity and newness as if they had known each other for a long time. When she returned to her golden palace, she immediately sent people to find the prince and bring him and her cat back to the palace. On Earth, a real princess shared many old stories with the prince. As the princess's close friend, he walked with her almost every day. Sometimes they walked in the palace, sometimes by the river, 
and sometimes in the woods. Donut Prince, what is the planet you're looking for like? The princess asked during a walk. Princess, I don't know. The prince replied after thinking. You've visited so many planets and you have no clue? No. Princess. I only know that when I'm near it, I'll recognize it right away. My father told me that when I see it, I'll know it's my planet. The prince answered seriously. How can you have children when you look like a child yourself? The princess wondered. The planet will give me the answer. I just need to give it a strand of my hair or some of my blood, and it will give me the most beautiful child in the world. Then I will grow into an adult. The princess thought of how she felt when she first saw the prince. It's strange. Your answer makes me feel like you're talking about me. The princess stopped walking and continued. When I first saw you, I felt like I'd known you for a long, long time. My heart told me you belonged with me. The prince wasn't surprised by what the princess said. Since he left his father's planet, many people reacted differently when they saw him. My friendship belongs to you, princess. Prince replied. If you can't find your planet, will you stay with me? Earth can be your home. The princess asked. As a royal princess and the daughter of the richest man in the world, she had never been refused by anyone. Princess, I can't stay. My planet is out there somewhere in the universe, waiting for me. No matter how long it takes, it will always wait for me. The prince declined. The prince's voice was so sincere, and his eyes were so bright, that the proud princess couldn't be angry with him. Her heart was full of regret, but she couldn't convince the prince. She looked at him and said, Then I wish you find your planet soon. From spring to fall, months passed. When autumn came, the donut prince was ready to leave the country and continue his journey. The princess came to him and saw him writing a letter. What are you writing? asked the princess. The prince looked up and saw the princess. He replied, I'm writing about what happened this summer. Summer is over. Why are you writing about it? Even though it's fall now, why can't I write about summer? Writing about summer in the fall always feels a bit sad. The prince stood up, thought for a moment. But summer and sadness aren't the same. But summer is gone. We've lost it. The princess said, looking a little sad. The prince thought again and said, Losing something and feeling sad about it are not the same. Why? The princess asked, looking at the prince. If we only think about what we've lost, that's true sadness. Isn't the most important thing our experiences? The prince said slowly. Princess, we haven't really lost this summer. The princess seemed to understand 
and nodded. I guess that's true. The prince continued. In the summer, we watched the sunrise and sunset by the sea. We climbed mountains and made flower crowns in the forest. You taught me about so many plants. The wind rustled the leaves and the birds sang beautifully like music. We celebrated festivals and enjoyed delicious food. Princess, you even had a giant chocolate donut made for me. It was delicious. We truly experienced this summer. So many things happened. Yes, but summer is still over. And you have to leave. Even if I have to leave now, I want to write about this summer and give it to you. This summer was so happy for me, so it's not sad. We didn't miss anything. I'm honored to have spent this summer walking with you. It's part of my memory. So don't feel sad because summer is over when we say goodbye. The princess looked at the prince and saw the joy on his face. Prince, thank you for writing this summer for me. I feel less sad now. The prince smiled and said, Thank you, princess. I feel less confused, too. Both of them laughed. The princess would continue being the honorable princess of her kingdom with her responsibilities. The prince would continue his journey to find his planet. When the prince left the princess's country, he found the princess's Siamese cat often appeared before him. Sometimes, the cat stayed with the prince for days. Sometimes, just a short while. And sometimes, it was gone for months. The cat told the prince that the princess sent it to keep him company until he no longer needed it. On this long journey, the cat's company gave the prince a kind of friend. In a tree at the Amsterdam port, the cat stretched. The sky was turning red sun was about to rise. The Donut Prince remembered watching sunrises and sunsets with the princess. No matter where he went, earth or space, he would watch the sunrise and sunset. He had to admit, the sunrises and sunsets on earth were beautiful. He also remembered watching the sunrise and sunset with his father and brother on the planet with pink grass. Unlike Earth, the sunrises and sunsets there were slow. Sunrise took a long time and sunset took a long time. This planet had only one tree, and only during sunrise did it bear delicious fruit. The fruit looked like cotton candy, but tasted like many things. Bread, donuts, fish, and more. The Donut Prince's favorite was the donut-flavored fruit. The fruit was endless during sunrise. At sunset, the fruit disappeared, but tiny flowers bloomed on the pink grass. The flowers were almost invisible, 
in shades of pink, white, and light green. They glowed softly, like many fireflies, making the grass very beautiful. Once, as the sunrise was changing to sunset, the father and prince brothers agreed to eat the fruit from the tree one more time. The father returned to the planet, and they hurried to the tree. But the fruit was already gone. The donut prince was upset and angrily said to his dad, It's your fault for being so late. The fruit is all gone. We waited for you and didn't eat it secretly. The prince frowned, arms crossed. The prince and his family didn't need to eat daily like earth people. They could go long without food or eat a lot at once. But this didn't stop the prince from feeling bad, as he had longed for the donut-flavored fruit. Big Brother comforted their father, saying, Dad, it's not your fault. The prince felt he had spoken too harshly and softened his tone, saying, Okay, I didn't mean it that way. Don't be too hard on yourself, Dad. Dad scratched his head and asked. I'm sorry. Are you guys disappointed? Big Brother replied. A little disappointed. Missing out on the tasty fruit is a shame. But the sunset view is beautiful too. Big Brother loved the fish-flavored fruit. Next time you should be more proactive, Dad. The prince said, still a bit upset. You see, the fruit won't wait for us. If we're late, it's gone. Big Brother agreed. He's right, Dad. This is how the world works. Missing out is disappointing. Let's go enjoy the view instead. Dad, you have some problems. The prince continued. We're always the ones inviting you to play, eat fruit, and go for walks. It's been a long time since you told us a story. Dad thought about it and realized he'd been busy running the planet, planting renovating the pink meadow and traveling to chat with people from other planets to stay updated on recent events. He admitted, a bit embarrassed. Yes, thank you for keeping me company. I'll do better. The Donut Prince, seeing his dad's good attitude enthusiastically offered advice. Dad, you have to go after what you want. If I want donut-flavored fruit, I invite you to come with me. Dad chuckled to himself, thinking, this kid likes to teach, just like I taught him. He then said, Sometimes, you don't need to hold or eat what you want to enjoy it. Why? Isn't it sad if we can't have what we want? The prince asked, confused. You can still have it by experiencing it. Dad explained. The prince and big brother shook their heads, not understanding. So dad had them stand together close their eyes and take a deep breath. What do you smell? Big brother, you go first. Hmm. I smell flowers and grass. Big brother said, 
focusing on the sense. All right, open your eyes. See, you didn't pick the flowers, but you still enjoyed their scent. Now, try to catch the wind with your hands, Prince. They both tried to grab the air, but the prince said, Dad, we can't catch the wind. You can't catch the wind, father continued, and the two brothers shook their heads. But can you feel the wind? The brothers nodded. So, does the wind exist? The brothers kept nodding. Do you have the wind and the coolness it brings? I understand, said the prince, grasping his father's words. It's like sunlight. We don't own the sun, but we have the sunlight and the warmth it gives. I get it too. We actually have more than we think. The older brother added, expressing his thoughts. Yes, we often have more than we realize. There's no need to feel sad or regretful about what we lose or miss in life. The father and his two sons walked together at sunset and these beautiful moments stayed in the prince's heart. In the harbor city, the prince saw the sunrise of a new day on earth. The cat hoped the donut prince could stay on earth. He was the kindest person it had ever met. But it knew the prince had to leave to find his own planet felt a bit sad. Over time, this feeling faded as the cat knew that this extraordinary person had once been its friend and it had guided the prince, sharing many wonderful moments. Now, the bright, warm sunlight shone through the leaves. The wind was busy rustling them. The grass was busy making seeds. And the moon was busy going home. They didn't need to speak. It was already perfect. All right, my friend. That's the end of today's story. But Donut Prince's adventures are not over. Next time, we'll continue with more of his adventures on other planets. If you liked today's story, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, We'd love to hear your thoughts on how we can do better. Good night, my friend. Good night and sweet dreams.